What is up you guys? Today is a very special video for me because I'm doing something from my chat. I'm doing a throwback from my childhood. The reason Casey's not here, that was in the video I posted earlier today. I will put the link down in the description below, somewhere below, down there. You guys know what I'm talking about. So you ever think to yourself about the golden decade back in the 90s? We had a lot of music back then. Some of it good. Some of it bad. Some of it was weird. <coughs> Where's that hair? And some of it just made you say, what the living fuck? So that is why I have taken the time to get my favorite top 10 guilty pleasure songs from the 90s. And by guilty pleasure, I mean songs that annoyed the piss out of everybody, but people still enjoy because you had a nice, upbeat, little catchy tune to it, or you just enjoyed it. So without any further ado, here we go. Numero uno. This one was an anthem to all hopeless romantics in the entire world. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. This next one is actually came out in 1970. In the late late to mid 70s however it went away in the 80s and the reason it's on this list is because it came back in the 90s it was featured in a lot of skits movies etc and it was basically revived and i love it i told the witch doctor i was in love with you i told the witch doctor i was in love with you and then the witch doctor he told me what to do he told me This next one is a personal favorite of mine and a good anthem at a honky tonk for any redneck in the world. This is what I'm doing with my life. I'm This one, I don't even know what number we're on, but I'm sure you guys are keeping count, right? I have many good memories of this one in kindergarten. We would, the teacher would just play it and we'd all perform it and learning the dance. It's got a cool, catchy dance that everyone in the world knows too. And I'm sure you guys remember those good times too. <laughs> And this next one, nobody really knows the words to, but it's written by three brothers. I don't know their ages. I don't know the name. I don't know the band. <laughs> but this song, I don't even know. It reminds me of the Brady Bunch com combined with the Partridge family because it's just like a family song. I don't even know. This one is a written by I think a European band. They named the song and nobody knows why they named it, but it's a really weird name and so was the band's name and so it's just a whole big pile of aliens on LSD mixed with crack. I don't know. I get no Lucky number seven. This one, I don't even know. I just like the song. It's got a catchy beat and it gets stuck in my head really easily. So I hope it gets stuck in yours now. One is also another anthem for hopeless romantics everywhere. It could it came out very late 80s, but could be heard all through the 90s. So without any further ado, Rick Astley. And this last one. There's really no ranking system in all this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it would be number one of the most annoying yet catchy songs of the 90s because 
we all know it, we all love it, we all hate it, we all just get stuck in our heads. So, without any further ado, I don't have my kin here for me, but you can call me Barbie. Barbie, let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl, in the Barbie world. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This is by far the weirdest and probably stupidest thing I have done so far. So, I hope you guys had fun taking a trip down memory lane. I sure did enjoy it. The nostalgia is real. Come again next week. Thank you all so very much. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. Love you guys all. Mwah. I'll leave a link in the description below to the video we did earlier. Love you guys. Kissy kit. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Later.